Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the new list slicer visual that has been released in the October 2024 update and it is still in the public preview. So as you can see on my screen, if you focus on the build pane, you can see this is a new list slicer visual. So to load this new list visual in your Power BI desktop, you can click on the gear icon, that is the settings icon. It will open the options from the options and settings. So you can go to this preview features. From here, you can enable this list slicer visual option and click on OK. You will have to restart your Power BI desktop and it will be automatically loaded. So in this video, primarily I'm going to show you the difference between the classic slicer visual and the new slicer visual, that is a new list slicer. So this new list slicer is going to be used as a hierarchical slicer basically. So that is why we have added two hierarchies. So this one is the new list slicer visual and this one is the old classic slicer. So we have added two columns, uh, the same columns in these two visuals, that is the segment and product to create a hierarchy. So if you see here, we have the segments and inside the segments, we have different products. So the major difference between the classic slicer visual and the new list slicer is in the design and the user interface. So let me show you what all extra things we have in this new list slicer, which we don't have in the classic slicer visual. So if you focus on the visual properties, you will uh, notice that there are a few extra formatting options like shape, layout, selection icon, expand and collapse icon, buttons. So these are the extra formatting options that we have in the new list slicer. So let me show you what difference does it make from the classic old slicer. First of all, if you go to the shape, uh, from the shape, we can choose a different styles like currently rectangle is selected. So we can choose a rounded rectangle, we'll change the shape and also we can change it to snip tab from both ends. So we can customize our own style from here. And if you go to the layout option, in the layout option, we can mention the number of buttons shown in the visual. So if I say, let's show 10 buttons. If I expand this, you can see it will show the 10 buttons. If I say, let's show only four buttons. So it is going to show only four buttons. Let's make it seven. Now we can increase and decrease the space between the buttons from here, from this indentation. So if you see this inside channel partners, these are the products and these are indented to the right. We can increase and decrease the indentation like this. And if I go to overflow, so this is basically when the data overflows, what style you should choose. So right now it's continuous scroll. So you're seeing this uh, scroll bar from which you can go down and see the data. If you choose paginated, it will give an arrow option uh, here to see the rest of the data. And there's an up arrow button as well to go back. It's like pagination. It will take you to the next page of the data. Next, uh, we have this selection icon. We just have an option uh, to, ch to change the color of the icon basically and the position of the icon uh, that is left or right. See, these are the icons, dot. So you can change the position of the icon, left or right, or you can change the color as well. Nothing much in this. And if I go to this expand and collapse icon, so as of now, we don't have different icons in this expand and collapse icon, which we have in the old classic slicer. So let me show you. If you see here, uh, we have this hierarchy option. And from this, we can see this expand or collapse where Chevron is selected. Now, if I change this to plus minus, there you can see this icon is changed to plus and minus. If I change it to carrot, which is my favorite. So we can see this icon, which we lack in this new slicer. So as of now, we just have, uh, we just have an option to change the icon color and position. There's an option for buttons as well. You can decorate and style your buttons as you want. We can add an accent bar. If we can add shadows, fill, border, padding, and different options you can make. In the field, you can also add image. All in all, these are the difference between the classic slicer and the new list slicer. So since this is an initial phase of this uh, visual, the Power BI team is definitely going to add more and more updates to this visual. So that was all about this video. I hope you uh, like my videos. If you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe my channel to stay tuned with my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.